Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode of RPG, or should I say Divine RPG, with RPG Immersion Pack in the FTV Pack. Alright, so, you guys have been really helpful, Dark Knightism me says, uh, and this goes for all people playing the RPG Mod Pack, whenever you die in the Vithia, or what, however you want to call it, what happens is you spawn up on level 4, and there's 4 layers to this, so, ow. Really? Really? You're gonna kill me? No, you're not. So what we're gonna have to do is go into creative mode and go down a bit. Because like I said, there's four layers. There's one. Or two this. There we go. And it should be the last one right here. Is what we're gonna go through. Alright, this should be the bottom layer where we started from. So this is where we originally were at. Let's see if I can find... I think it's over here. Let's go ahead and go back to our waypoint or our home point. That way we can start all over and get stuff done. So, uh, also, with these dirty pearl lumps, I have to right click the NPCs. Wow, I was really far away, wasn't I? Apparently. Whoa, I have no clue what that is. Oh my jeez. This world's kind of scary. Can I view those? Wow, that's really far away. Okay, we'll be right back when we get to that point, guys. Alright, guys, we are back. And we are back at our waypoint. As you can see, it's up there. The portal is right there. So, let's do a restart to this Vithia map. Because I knew nothing in the start. And now I can know a little bit, apparently. So, I have to find these villager guys. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Dark Knight is me. For uh, totally telling me that... You have to trade. The only way that you can get anywhere in this uh, world is trading with the villagers. So I don't remember where the villagers are at. I just know I want to stay away from every single mob that there is in this part until I... Wow. Frame rate going bad. Bad frame rate. Why? There we go. It's fixed. Wow, that was weird. Okay, so until I find... There's one. There's one. Hey, guy. How's it going? How's it going? Can you take my dirty lump thingies? Oh, what did you give me? Teaker lump? He gave me teaker lumps. I have no clue what teaker lumps are, but they sound cool. It's got that ring to it. Tinker. Whoa. More frame rate drops. What's wrong with you, world? What is wrong with you? I don't think I can trade anything in this tinker thing, can I? Can I put anything in that? No. Can I craft anything with that? You? No. No, no with the R's and no with the U's. Apparently not. Okay, so we, oh, whoo, back off, back off, buddy. So apparently we have more of these guys. Take these, use them in the infusion table. Okay, so you just gave me more of those. Nice, did you give me more? Sweet. So is there a bug? that uh, I don't actually get rid of these pearl things because I just got more and more stuff for the infusion table without needing like I didn't have to trade my dirty pearls or anything like that I still have the dirty pearls so I don't know what's up with that let's go back to the infusion table and see what we can do with that then shall we do I put them there there no tinker lumps tinker Lumps. Uh, let's see. Can I type anything up there? No. I don't have a crafting table, so I can't really craft anything. Per se. Am I doubling this stuff? How did I get 45 so far? Like, automatically, I just got like 45 or something like that. See, look at that. There's a glitch. I'm totally like... That's weird. Why is there some kind of glitch? So if I drop 30 out and put that in there and... Okay, there is some kind of glitch that's making me like double, triple or some kind of thing with these. And I don't know exactly how to get that part right there. Let's go back through the messages that it says. You look new around here, be careful, take these, use them at the infusion, at an infusion table. This is an infusion table, I would think. That's what I would I would call this place, an infusion table. 
That's an altar lamp. I don't have a sword or anything. I can't click any of those. Even when I put stuff on both layers. So I have no clue. Let's see. Puzzle Master says, nearby, in order to get weapons and armor, you need to use those infusion tables that you found at the start. In order to use them, you need corresponding lumps. In order to get the lumps, you need to trade with the mysterious men. Oh, so if, can I trade these lumps to get better lumps? Maybe? Maybe if I find more corresponding men, right? Let's see, is there anyone in here that I can trade with? Anyone in here at all? I think I almost died by coming down here last time. Uh, oh, you're good, so can I trade that with you? What the future holds is dark. Apparently, I just got Arthea lumps from the Teaker. And I have no clue what that is, but it looks cool because it's spinning around, and that's what almost killed me, or did kill me last time. Okay, and apparently there's more of these things. Ah, what is that? Dream dirt. So I just got dream dirt. And uh, those guys are just like Pikachu guys. I have no clue what they're doing. Hmm. So I just got to trade up. So does this have the whole like glitchy thing too? Apparently not. All right, let's go back up and see if we can find any more of those guys. So here's the recall. Should I use the cheat thing to my advantage or should I? Do you guys remember how many I had before it started multiplying? 8,543 of these things? Because now I just have a lot of them. Uh, what's that? That's like one of those angel looking guys, right? Oh, did he look at me? Did he look at me? Is he like an ender? Ooh, he did something. Alright, so that's probably not it, so I bet I have to keep trading. There's another guy. Oh, what is that thing? Is that got a bow on it? Uh, can you... Come here. Take these. Put them in the... Oh. Is that thing pulling me towards it? I think it is. I'm getting pulled through... No! Stay away from me! You dream wrecker. Alright, so we just got... What do we get? Teaker lums? We already had those. We just got more teaker lumps for those other ones? That didn't make sense. At all. We need more of this glowstone block thingy. Alright, those guys are shader, shadiaria, whatever you want to call them. Don't want to mess with them. Yeah, apparently we just got more teaker. Yeah, apparently you can multiply. There's a dupe glitch. So that definitely needs to be fixed in the next version. Unless you just wanted to keep duplicating everything that you had to get more and more better weapons really, really fast. Does my hunger never run out in this world? I'm wondering about that. Because I don't think it has ran out at all. So we need to find more of those guys. Where are they? Hello? Oh, there's some. I see some. Alright, so these guys only give you that. And they give you that no matter what. Whether you use Teaker or whether you use... So apparently I have to find different guys. What is that? I have no clue, but it's cool looking. Can I get up inside of it? I wonder. Trading is the only way to get there. There's NPCs called the Hunger. We'll trade with the pearls for various items. Oh, those, those are not the hunt. Those are the bees! Those are what killed me in the first place, I think. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Uh, what are these guys? Takazians or whatever. Those guys are probably not going to trade with me at all. So it's really just a running dash to find different villager guys. Without dying, that is. Let's 
Is there some over here? I do like the fact that my hunger never runs out. That's pretty sweet. Just means I can... Oh, Hive Queen, what? Is there a boss over here? There's a boss over here. Apparently. That I can't see. I do not see a Hive Queen at all. I just see a meter on the top of my screen. I just want to find more villagers. That's all I want. They gradually increase by level. You are on level 4 when you spawn. Alright, so... Do I need to dig up? Is that what it is? Because I have no clue what you're saying. If they gradually increase by level... And right now I'm only on level 1 and I have all these right here. Do I need to keep moving up? To level up? Because I found the green one. But I only found one of those guys. Can I go through there? Probably be safer to go... Th uh, I don't know if I can actually... Go down here. And get inside of that. Whoa, is that stone? I think that's stone. It's not going to help me right now, though. Where art thou, villagers? So I found a hive queen. That was pretty cool. Click on the mysterious man two times and you will get lumps. I did that already. When you punch the tree, there's a chance to spawn a net. Uh, those people that spawn... They say that you look new around here. Be careful. Just uh, hit them twice. I've done that already. You need to find like a spaceship uh, and find the hunger for a trade with the pearls. And when you die, you spawn in level four. There are four levels that you spawn. The worst level as you die. Okay. Cool. I, I like that. What I don't like is the fact that I don't... There's another hive queen apparently. I do not see her at all anywhere it must be like straight above me the hive queen on another level oh over here maybe maybe there's something inside of here maybe more guys apparently hopefully let's see come down here oh oh Oh, jeez. That was scary. I am safe down there. Oh, I got more of those. Nice. That was scary. Oh. Breathe nearby. Breathe. You're going to be fine. No worries. He came out of the middle of nowhere. What's down here? And it just keeps leading on to more of this stuff. I wonder know what those things are. I can't like really trade with them or anything. They're just spinning and they look cool, but that's about it. And I can put a block on them. Get a Darwin disc. You have to find persons and not those robbing looking people and right click them and then put a dirty pearl in it for Stuff extra food dirty pearl Okay, that's that's definitely not it not unless it's that I Dirty pearl not work Okay, so I kind of don't want to go on those things anymore that guy scared the oh I am running out of food nice I can't eat dirty pearl. I can't make dirty pearl awesome. So if I die of hunger because I've been running around jumping all over the place, that's going to be a bad thing. What's over here? There's like holes in the ground. Is it grave site? Is that water? No, it's not water. That's weird looking. What is that? 
Okay, interesting. Nothing goes in there and makes it cool. Can I put some of those? That doesn't do anything. Those light up? When did they light up? So apparently I just lost my dirty pearls. Can I put wood in there? No. Stone? No. I don't know what that's all about. It looks cool though. This world is just so totally different. Oh, there's another guy. Hey, it's a green guy. Come back here, Crypt Keeper. Beware of the higher layers. Yeah, but how do I get to the higher? Can I get through the higher layers this way? Maybe you're just meant to die. I want to destroy this block because I want to see what's... That's it? It just spins around? Wow. A disc thingy? I'm definitely... As soon as all you guys are like, you just need to see Captain Sparkle's videos, apparently I'm going to have to watch it because I do not understand any of this thus far. Disc thing. That's what these things are. Teaker disc. I did not mean to cheat. I was still in creative mode. There we go. Apparently, you can only make those a certain way, apparently. Yep, I'm definitely gonna just watch this video. It's the only thing that's gonna save me here. Because I have no clue what's going on. Can I go up through that tower to the next level? Maybe. Is there a hole in that pillar? We'll just like dig straight through it. If there is. Hopefully there is. I'm sorry, but I hate this dimension. Do you? I, I'm kind of disliking it myself as well. Cool video. Kill the monsters. They will drop their weapons. Yeah, right. Um, with what? My fist? My fisticuffs? Uh, I don't think I can kill them. You get the weapons by killing the mobs. Nearby, when you get material, go to the altar and make the staff. It's the best weapon. When I get the material. Alright. You think I should kill a mob to get a weapon. That does not seem like the best plan of action. I'm just saying. I want to know why this has a gooey interface for it. For a lamp. There's another cage thing. Come on. Give me something awesome. There's something down there. Has this one got an entrance? It does, but it's like blocked. It should not be blocked like that. Looks like we're going to have to dig through. Okay. Hey, nearby, make a world to ICK. Just place 10 worlds. Stun 10 snow blocks, just the other portals. It's very cheap, and you can upgrade your weapons and stuff at villages that's in that world. Can you, uh, can you get the weapons and stuff to this world, though? This isn't a nice world. I can tell it's not a nice world. I can't tell where to go at all. Thank you very much, Crypt Keeper. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. And when we come back tomorrow for another episode, I will have already watched Captain Sparkle's videos and will know exactly what to do. So there you go. I will do my own tutorial part to figure out what's going on. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? 
Oh, I'm dying. Take these to an infusion table. I did take them to an infusion table, and they don't do anything. And that's not an infusion table, is it? Does it infuse stuff? Infuse! Gosh darn you, infuse! So, yeah, hopefully we won't die. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, everyone!